Mark with the Anatomy of Wellness and today we're going to learn how to foam roll your TFL muscle. So let's start by talking about foam rollers. What are they and why do we want to use them? So first off, what is a foam roller? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you think of like a rolling pin that you use at home in your kitchen to roll out your favorite homemade pizza crust or uh, maybe like a pie crust, that's essentially what it is. They're, they're bigger and they're meant to be used on us, not our food, uh, but they're meant to be used to help us massage out tissues that are overly tight and, and painful that we want to try and loosen back up. And, and, and specifically, the tissues that we're working on trying to loosen up are our muscles and our fascia. You're probably pretty familiar with what muscles are, I would assume, but you may not be super familiar with what fascia is. Well, fascia is the connective tissue of the body. And if you think of like saran wrap, that's essentially what fascia is. It's, uh, it's, it's a connective tissue that's meant to keep things connected inside the body that we want connected and it's kind of meant to hold things in place. So things are where they're at and they can do the jobs that they need to do in those locations. So, but, the, but muscles and fascia typically go together. Wherever there's muscles, there's gonna be fascia. Wherever there's fascia, there's gonna be muscles. And typically, when you have tightness in the muscles, you typically also will get some tightness in the fascia and vice versa. They're, kinda, they're really interconnected quite closely. Um, so those are the two primary uh, tissues that we're trying to get after when we use a foam roller. Uh, for a self-massage technique at home. We're trying to loosen that tissue up, realign the fibers, make sure it's working properly, and that we're not having it uh, be tight on us and cause pain and limit mobility. So let's talk about how to use a foam roller to start to work and loosen up our TFL muscle. Again, the TFL muscle is located right here on the lateral or uh, outside aspect of our hip. Okay, if you think again, right along the seam of your pant leg, that's right where it's at. Okay, so it's almost kind of right behind your pocket. Okay, your pocket's usually more on the front where your thighs are, where your quads are. Just behind that, right where the seam of your pant leg is, that's right where it's at. And it's not up high up on your hip. Okay, it's not way up here on that bony part of your hip. It's down below. So kind of, if you look where my shirt is meeting my pants, it's usually right there is where you're gonna find it, okay? So kind of keep that in mind. And we're just going to be foam rolling that little area here. We're not going to get way down into the IT band. We're definitely not going to get up on the bony part of our hip. Neither of those are going to feel very good. And again, if the source of our tightness is that TFL muscle, we really want to just focus in on that area right there. Okay. So how we can use a foam roller to get at this. So you can use really any size of foam roller you want. If yours has some... Um, some designs or studs built into it to dig into the muscles a little bit more, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna use kind of your classic foam roller here. But you're gonna lay it down, you're gonna do one side at a time, okay? And when you lay on the foam roller, you're gonna lay with the foam roller right on that spot where your TFL is, okay? So it's gonna look just like this. You're gonna lay down over the foam roller, the bottom leg, which is the side that we're focusing on getting that TFL muscle on, is out straight, okay? I like to put my arm down on the floor for support, keep my other foot on the ground to help with my balance, and you can even do what I'm doing here and have this bottom leg's foot up against the wall as well. That may give you a little bit more stability. When you're doing this, I like to have my foot crossed over the top. That way I can kind of lean over a little bit more and get that foam roller right on the side of my leg where that TFL muscle is. But for the video purpose, I'm gonna have my leg back here so you can see what's happening down here with the foam roller. So again, that foam roller should be starting right on that TFL muscle. If you feel like it's too far down here, it's down on your leg, or it's too far up here, it's starting to get up on that bony part of your hip, just kind of lift yourself up, use your other hand to kind of position that foam roller so you're feeling it right on that kind of meaty part of your, of your side right along the, the seam of your pant leg, kind of right behind where your pocket normally would be, okay? Once you're here, you're just gonna use this leg, your arm and even your foot if it's up against the wall, to just gently roll back and forth over that TFL muscle, okay? So if I had my leg over like I normally would so I can make sure I'm on top of that muscle, it would look something like this, okay? I'm just gonna do this for 30 seconds to a couple minutes depending on what you can tolerate. It is gonna be uncomfortable, 
because that muscle's tight, the foam roller's digging into it, massaging it out. Shouldn't be painful though, okay? So if it's painful, you feel like you're on something bony, readjust your position until you find where you're feeling it on your TFL muscle, okay? And again, if you can always change how much pressure you're putting on it, you kind of lift yourself up a little bit more, or you can relax down a little bit more to put a little bit more pressure, kind of play around with that to find what's gonna work for you. And again, it's just a small little area, okay? From about the width of the foam roller, uh, distance of how far you're actually gonna be rolling. You're not rolling way down here onto your IT band. You're definitely not rolling way up here onto your hip. Okay, you're just kind of rolling almost the length of your pocket again or the width of that foam roller right there, okay? So do that for a few minutes or until you just feel that muscle starting to loosen up, but that'll help loosen up the TFL muscle and that'll help uh, in addition to loosening up that IT band because it's usually that TFL muscle that's tightening up and actually pulling on the IT band. So.